I'm Chris and Chris and welcome to So Cool Science! Science you can do right at home. I'm just looking at my DNA and going over today's science file. And today's science file, it says... Can you see your DNA without a microscope? That's an awesome question. Try this. You will need a cup, some salt, some rubbing alcohol, soap, and a toothpick. Now, before we get started, you want to make sure that your mouth is cleaned out of any gunk. So, you're going to rinse and spit. Okay, so now you're going to work up some mouth juice. Otherwise, you have to wait till it goes on sale. <laughs> now, you're going to use your tongue to scrape off some cheek sounds. And then you're going to take your mouth juice and you're going to spit it into a plastic cup. Okay, so now you got to get yourself some soap. Yeah, the same stuff you use to wash your hands. And you're going to squeeze two drops of soap into your spit. Okay, so now you want to get yourself some salt. That's right. You want to sprinkle a little bit of salt into your mouth juice. Okay, so now you're gonna get yourself some rubbing alcohol. You're gonna pour oh, about 50 or so milliliters of this stuff over your spit. Okay, so now you're gonna let this sit for about three to five minutes. And then, check it out. You're gonna take your twist tie, dip it in the mixture, and you're gonna pull out a string of your DNA. Wow, now check that out. You can actually see a strand of your DNA right there. Well, that's so wicked cool! So, how come we can see the DNA? Well, don't look at me! Take a closer look at this. When you rub your tongue on your cheek, you dislodge cheek cells into your saliva. When you add soap to your saliva, the soap breaks down the cell's membrane as well as the nucleal membrane, freeing the DNA from the cell. When you add the salt to the mixture, this helps the DNA recombine into strands or clumps. The rubbing alcohol stops the water from dissolving the DNA away once the clumps and strands are formed. Sex cells are formed through a process similar to mitosis, but instead undergo a process known as meiosis. Just like in mitosis, sex cells start out by replicating chromosomes, which line up at the center of the cell with spindle fibers attached to centrioles. These centrioles pull the paired chromosomes to opposite sides of the cell until the cell divides into two new daughter cells. Unlike mitosis though, these new cells split a second time without replicating the chromosomes this time. Spindle fibers attach to the centrioles again, except this time the chromosomes are pulled apart so that each new cell will only have half the number of chromosomes of the original cell. In male sex cell formation, these four new cells will form four new spermatozoa, whereas in female sex cell formation, only the cell with the most cytoplasm will become an ovum. The other three shrivel up and die. So now you know more about doxyribonucleic acid. You know, seeing your very own DNA right at home is why science is so cool.